Okay, we are recording. All right, hello everyone. So, um, as I will make another quick announcement video for, just so it doesn't get mixed up. Because a lot of times I make announcement videos. I'll, I'll make an announcement in a video, but if people haven't watched that, they won't, you know, have seen the announcement. Um, whatever. Uh, that's <laughs> I, I, I say that like I'm a big channel. But all of you who do watch my videos, thank you. Um, but anyways, <laughs> to the point of this video, I have come to notice, because a lot of people have been asking me recently, some of my friends who want to join the Jerrytown server, they have found that, oh, this is weird. Okay, didn't have Google open. All right, there we go. Now Google's open. All right, um, that my old mod download tutorial is a bit outdated. By the way, sorry for all the flashing black rectangles. That's just kind of how OBS is with Mac now. It's unfortunate window capture doesn't work too well. Siphon inject is only really for games. So yeah, sorry for the black flashing squares. Can't change that. But um, if that's, th this is a tutorial on how to download uh, uh, the mods, um, specifically oriented towards the Jerrytown server. So th this is specifically oriented for downloading mods to join the Jerrytown server because I realize Jerrytown server is a little bit more complicated than uh, than just standard mod download, right? Because it's a server, whatever. All right, so let's get to it. Um, so anyways, uh, there are two ways to get to my website. So of course, it's Jer Bear. So J-E-R-R-R -R -R Bear Pedia. And if you search that in Google, don't know who that is, that's not me, but that is. Okay, so it's the first website that comes up. Now, obviously, the Jerrytown Server Mod Files page, that is where it's going to be. But if you just went to the home, you just click down here at this other tab. All right, so on this page, you will find the mod files for the Jerrytown Server. Of course, make sure Minecraft is updated and you have the latest version of Java. So, latest version of Java. All right, I should put that on this page. But before I... Well, this is very odd. Um, okay, I'm sorry, guys. Um, I'm gonna have to have black squares at the bottom. I don't like Google full screen. That's just weird. All right, so this is gonna gonna be like that. All right. Anyways, so latest version of Java. It's pretty straightforward. So just Java download, right? Just search that in Google, and it is Java Oracle. So if you go to this, it's the Java Oracle link. Um, if you go to this page, Java download, right? And it will say agree and start download and it will automatically assume your operating system I am using Mac OS X and I know a lot of people don't like Mac as much I'm not the biggest fan of Windows so much so that Jerrytown server runs Linux Ubuntu um, but honestly Linux Ubuntu is good so anyways whatever it is Linux Mac it will automatically recognize your operating system agree and start download and then sort of run the installer there's other videos on how to download Java but essentially you know um, I'll just, th this would download a file. Um, if, if I click this, agree and start download, it would download a file. And after that, <laughs> you would have this file in your downloads folder, right? So for Mac, it's down here in the finder. And I go to downloads, and then it would be uh, the, the latest, so, so long as I have it to set to date added, right? Uh, of course, it's different for, for Windows, but uh, sorry, this is a Mac. So you'd just double click it, you'd run it. And that would be how to download Java. Pretty straightforward, that's Java. Let me know if anyone needs help with that. Leave it down in the comments of this video, which again, remember, has an external Google link. It's not actually regular YouTube comments, um, which for this one, I might just leave regular YouTube comments. Um, you know, the whole child protection thing. I, I could, that's a rant for another video. But anyways, let's close that tab back to this page. So you have the latest version of Java. You make sure that you have at least Java 8, right? And then to install mods before you do anything. I mean, first of all, if you haven't run Minecraft yet, I'm assuming you have if you're getting mods. Run Minecraft, run the game, do all that kit and caboodle stuff. So to install mods, the first thing you need to do is download Forge. Now, I have done a lot of playing around to get all the specific versions of the mods that can work together. Because I, sometimes... A certain mod even if I'm getting all 1.12 mods there are mods that just aren't compatible and sometimes it's just specific versions of that mod aren't compatible 
there's usual usually like mods that are constantly updated there's multiple versions of the same game version so there's multiple mod versions of 1.12 given a, a certain mod but anyways i'm rambling so you need forge right so let's go down to uh, Minecraft for specific version link blah 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 so you go to this link yes and make sure in under Minecraft version down here you're under 1.12 and 1.12.2 and then you click this orange box here show all versions and I said oh here let me open up another tab with the JRBRpedia just um, again so I said you need this version this specific version right here so specific, specifically ending in 2838. So let's go back to Minecraft Forge here. And so what we want to do is we want to scroll down until we see these last four numbers. Okay, there it is, 2838. You see right here where my cursor is. Let me see if my cursor actually shows up on the screen. I think it does. But anyways, okay, uh, hopefully you can see my highlighting. But down there I have, okay, you can't see my highlighting. So yes, that's 2838. That's the version we want. So... Um, Windows, if you if you do this installer win, that will give you a .exe. So if you're on Windows, you can do that. But this installer is pretty much uh, universal. It will work for most things. If you're on Linux, you probably have to download this. You know, uh, 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 to be honest, I think this installer, the second column here, works for practically everything. This one only works for Windows. It's .exe files. This installer is always... A, uh, like a, a dot jar but if for some reason you know what you're doing and you know that you need a zip file then you use universal because zip files are always universal they will always work so if for some reason when you try to open the forge file it doesn't open then come back to this web page and download the universal version and then you'll have to unzip it there's all kinds of unzipping programs for Mac users, I recommend getting the RAR, the R-A-R, all caps, R-A-R extractor from the App Store. So if you go to the App Store, and it's R-A-R extractor, um, there are two versions. There's the light. I have the full version. Um, not quite sure where it is. Yeah, uh, here it is. RAR extractor star. This, oh wait, never mind. I, I did not have it open so let me sorry let me add another uh, scene here so I'll, I, I could just here I'll, I'll just do display cat oh dear okay we're not doing that sorry let me <laughs> that's what the video is now I remove that let me add another window capture here um, and again sorry for all the black flashing I call this app store <laughs> okay um, window, sorry, the App Store. All right, so everyone, you can see the App Store. For some reason, it's weird like this. Let me full screen it. That should fix that. All right, this video is getting pretty long. All right, so for some reason, that's not quite working. What you type in RAR Extractor in the App Store, and um, so you see there's this RAR Extractor light. If you don't want to pay anything, that one's fine. If you have, like, I think it's five, it's like a dollar or five dollars, get this rar extractor star i probably scrolled past it uh um well yeah there's there's one called rar extractor star it's made by the same company um that's the one i recommend using if you have a different one that's cool too let me let me try to find it i can't let me let me rar extractor star it's just the full version so yeah rar extractor star it's either one dollar or five dollars this is the one I recommend, but the light version should do just fine. So I'm going to change back to Google and um, just delete that scene. Or not scene, um, capture device. All right, we're back on Google. Sorry, this is <laughs> getting to be longer than I desired. But anyways, all right, back to this point. Um, zips doesn't matter too much yet but it will matter so you will need a, a file unzipper but for all intensive purposes most of the time okay 2838 this specific one just get the installer if you download that now do not click any of this stuff on the main page this is very important only this stuff at the top so you wait the five seconds and you click this button skip 
This main page is mainly, but these are just advertisements. What you want is just this skip button in the right hand corner, the top upper right hand corner. So click skip and you'll notice down here it has done it. If you're on a Mac or a Windows, whatever, you'll click keep because it's a good folder. So I'm going to open my finder or with Windows, that would be your folders. You go to downloads and then you see I've got forge here and here it is that this is the file we want. So you just double click it, you open it. Okay. So for Mac users, you might've just seen that little warning there. It says your security preferences do not allow you to open this because it's an identified, unidentified developer. If you're Windows, that probably won't happen. But for Mac users, again, um, I'm going to open up another window. And you essentially just have to go to your system preferences, settings, whatever. And let me set that. Okay, so we go to settings, which is system preferences. All right. So we have my system preferences open here. Uh, that's weird. All right, we're experiencing some issues. All right, so ah, let me see there. All right, system preferences, here it is. So we have here system preferences and all you have to do is um, go to security and privacy in the first row there. And then you'll see here, allow apps downloaded from, and it's locked, I can't, I can't change it. Uh, App Store and identified developers, but I don't need to. Um, it's not an identified developer. For some reason, Forge is not. So all you have to do is click open anyway, and then you see it opens the thing. So I'll open it anyway, right? And um, now it has opened the Forge installer. So now I'm gonna have to um, change the window again. So now we've got the the Forge installer. Right, okay, let's see, it's not, there it is. All right, so you should be able to see that. That's the Forge installer. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you have the install client selected. Make sure it is where your Minecraft folder is. For Mac users, it would be slash users, your username, library, application, support, and Minecraft. Make sure that's right if you're doing it for Mac users, but it should automatically do it. If you have Minecraft already installed, which like I said, you have to already have Minecraft, you have to have already run the game at least once, then you click OK, and then it will go through the installer, you, 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 know, you, you install it and everything, and that's um, what you have to do for that. So like if I click Install Client, OK, I'm not going to do it because it would mess things up because I already have it, but you click OK here, and then you run the installer, um, you know, click finish if you have to, click start, whatever it is, just sort of do what it says, and it's pretty straightforward, um, just like installing Java. So that's how to install Forge. All right, so once you've got Forge, then you have to make sure you start up Minecraft again. So I'm going to open up the launcher. Um, let me find the deer, deary, deary, all right. So um, you open up your launcher, so let me, oh dear, okay, I'm gonna have to sign in, so let me do that really quickly. For some reason, I can't remember my password. Um, all right, dearie me, what is my password? Right, let's see. Okay, I, I think right, is that it? Oh, come on! What's I have? Uh... Dear, this is a problem. Okay, this should be correct. What? Did I forget my pat? Okay, let me just. I'm sorry, guys. Let me um, check. Okay, so it's, it's Minecraft. Let me check my notes. So I think, oh no, I didn't write my password down. Always remember your password, guys. Okay, um, so let me sort of disable this scene for a second. My apologies, you're going to have a black screen there. I'm going to have to reset my Minecraft password, everyone. So if you bear with me, <laughs> um, 
I'm gonna do that real quick. <laughs> and, uh, but anyway, oh dear. This is turning out to be... I wonder if, actually, let me see, there might be a way to pause the record. There isn't a way to pause the recording. Alright, bear with me. I have to reset my Minecraft password, as one often has to do. Okay, uh... Minecraft actually forces you to reset your password every once in a while. All right, so I should be set. So let's log in. Um, should be all right. Okay, good. All right. So let <laughs> let's let's do this again. All right. So I'm going to change this window capture. Actually, I'm going to change the setting capture to the Minecraft launcher. All right, so there's the Minecraft launcher, everyone. Uh, the beautiful new launcher. Great. All right, so we've got this screen, which for some reason this isn't adjusting very well. Let me... Sorry, guys. Let me adjust that window real quick for you. All right. Oh, that's Google. All right, that's the wrong window. Um, so let me make sure... I'm adjusting the right window here. All right, there we go. So here's the Minecraft launcher. I'm so sorry. All right, so you'll see that you've got this new Forge. Uh, well, you won't see this. So what you'll have to do is you'll have to go to Installations, and then you'll click New, and then name it whatever you want, right? And then you, you scroll down until you find that Forge version, whatever it is, right? So they typically tend to be at the bottom of this thing. When you don't have snap, uh, snapshots enabled, it'll be the same thing. So it's, again, here it is, 2838. So there's that installation. And then um, if you want to change the amount of RAM, I highly recommend you do. If you have four gigabytes of RAM, sorry, you might even try to allocate two. So what you have to do here is you go into this JVM arguments. And you see this number two next to the G. Change that to a three. Um, so if you have four gigabytes of RAM, Change it to a three, definitely not four. No, 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 bad, bad, crash your computer bad. Um, so don't do that. Um, if you have more, if you have something like eight, I would probably allocate six or seven. If you have more than eight, I would just allocate eight gigabytes of RAM, and then you click create, and then you've got this new installation. So you go back to play, and then you scroll down and you select it. I already have it selected. And it will say, this installation has been modified, blah, blah, blah. You just click check the box, accept it every time, approve it, click play. That will load up the game. Run that at least once, and then close it without any mods. All right. So sorry, this is a lot of complicated stuff. I hope you're keeping up with me. So I'm going to uh, block that window and go back to this page here. So, all right. So after you've done that, you've got Forge, you've run it. All right, so here's another thing. So remember I was talking about unzipping programs? You're going to need one. For Mac, I recommend the R, RAR Extractor. Linux, um, I'm not sure. <laughs> I think Linux, you don't even need a program. I think Linux just does it. Windows, there's something called... Yeah, Windows 10, you don't need anything. Windows, if you right-click, you can extract some... So you don't need to. It's, it's, it's usually called extracting or unzipping. But if you have before Windows 10 and you have Windows, I would recommend 7-Zip. So you have a Windows 7, 8, 7-Zip is my recommended application. All right, so um, blah, 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 install, uh, open an installer, that this is Forge stuff. All right, so for Windows, you're going to go to percent app data percent in the search bar, open roaming, and then open Minecraft. Um, and then in the Minecraft folder, if you have not already had one, if there is a folder, no need. It should be titled mods, all lowercase, all just like that. If there is no folder, create one titled mods inside the Minecraft folder. All right. So this is the case. That's where it is. So for Mac, you click on the Finder. So let me open that up. I'm going to make it so that Finder is this window now. All right, so Finder. Um, so you can see my downloads. There's my Finder. And, oh wait, let's see. Let me make sure that's recording there. It, it should be. I, I think that's weird. 
For some reason, it's not... I'm going to block the window capture. It's not capturing it. That's weird. Okay, Finder Minecraft? Finder Downloads. All right, that's, that's weird. It's not letting me record it. All right, well, anyways, um, that's unfortunate, but... <laughs> whatever uh, that's that's obs that's you can thank apple for that um anyways well up here you will have you know uh, you know if if i had uh at, at the top of the screen pretty much there's that bar that has the menu of, of things so if you had the finder open you click on the finder right that's the folders for mac um you will click go and then hold well you don't click it you, you hover over it and then hold the Alt key, um, which is now either Control or, uh, it, it, sorry, hold the Alt key or the Option key. With newer Macs, it's just called Option. So hold the Option key, and then the Library folder will show up. So click on Library, Open Application Support, and then the Minecraft folder. And then there's the Mods folder. All right, so anyways, if this is your first time downloading the mods for the Jerrytown server, I have a download all link right here. So if we click on that link, it takes me to Google Drive. So Google Drive, it's a lot like Microsoft Office, but it's on Google. Then I have this download all updated as of to, to well, today when I'm recording it. So you right click and you download this folder. So that will take it to the download. So I'm going to right click, download it. Um, well, I'm not going to download it because I already have it. All right. So then I have that in downloads because I can't show you the finder, so I, I, I can't do anything with that. But, um, so yeah, so you would, right, uh, if you're on Windows, it's that percent app data thing. Linux, um, it should be pretty easy to navigate your folders. Um, and, and I assume if you're using Linux, you know enough what you're doing that, that you would, yeah. So, um, oh yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't show you this in the Minecraft launcher, so let me do that real quick. Um, so you, you need to make sure you have, uh, oh, I think I closed it. All right, so let me open up the Minecraft launcher again. <laughs> Sorry, guys, this is, this is a bit of a tedious explanation, but I hope it's making sense. So let me open up my Minecraft launcher again, and I will show you what, what needs to be done. So, all right, so I'm going to change this to... Minecraft, come on, where is it? All right, uh, sorry, settings, downloads, where is it? There it is, all right, so here's the Minecraft launcher again. We were just here, yes, I know. So if we go back to installations up here, make sure you have historical and modded boxes selected. Make sure you have both those selected before you do the installation thing or it, it won't work. All right, so you have to make sure those are checked, and that's that's that. All right. Or, oh, wait, it, you're not able to see it. Sorry. All right, so you'll see, make sure those two boxes under Installations tab, Historical and Modded, both those are checked. All right, so let's go back to Google again, <laughs> and we're back on Google here, or you can use Bing, whatever you prefer. <laughs> um, and uh, it used to be under Advanced Settings, but ignore this. This is outdated, even. So, all right. So there's this zip file of all the mods, right? I just showed you that. So if you, you right click and you download that, that's a download all. So what you have to do is go back to that mods folder, right? And you put that zip file, that download all file in the mods folder. And then what you will do is right click, extract or unzip. If you're on Mac, if you have that RAR extractor, because that's an Apple application, it will automatically work if you double click it. But if you have some other extractor, Windows, whatever, you might have to right click on Mac. Uh, 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 you right click, open with, and then find the program. But it should just be able to work. So just double click it, it will extract it. I can't show you that for some reason because my it won't let me record my finder with OBS. So, so sorry for that. But anyways, you extract it normally just by double clicking as long as you already have an unzip program. Linux or Windows 10 usually automatically does it. Um, if you double click it or you right click extract, right click unzip or right click open with this program if double click doesn't work. So what it will either do is extract everything into the mods folder or 
Extract is just a fancy word for it's not a zip file. It's all 34 of these mod files now. So it will, what it will probably do if you're on Mac is it will open, it will create a folder. You can delete the zip file if it's still there. Move it to the trash, right-click, delete, right-click, move to trash, whatever operating system you're on, or recycle. Um, and you'll open that folder that it created by unzipping, and you'll see that there's all those mods there, those 34 files. Highlight them all, right-click, copy, and then go back into the mods folder, paste them into the mods folder, and delete that other folder that was created by the extraction so that the mods folder only has all those jar files in it. So I'll say that again. You extract it, you'll have a folder, and you go into the folder, you highlight everything in the folder, right click, copy, and then go back into the mods folder, previous folder, right? Paste all the mod, mod files in there, and then you can delete the folder and delete the download all file if they're still there so that you have nothing but all 34 of these mod files in the folder. I'm going to try to show you the finder again just to see if there's some way I could do this. I'm hoping there is. So, don't understand why I'm not able to. So, finder, please let me show them. All right, no, it is working. Okay. Sorry, so I can't actually show you this. Um, all right, so sorry. So let me actually download that download all file. Download, uh, always click download anyway and keep the file, whatever. Um, so I'm so sorry. This has probably been quite tedious and not making a whole lot of sense. Um, mostly because it hasn't been visual enough, so my apologies for that. Um, yeah. Uh, make sure you leave it in the comments if... Okay, this is already 26 minutes long. I, I'm not making this very easy. This is really easy. I, it's just all my explanation is, is making it weird. This this download all must be a really big file. All right, it's done. All right, so you should be able to see my finder if I'm correct. So window capture. All right, so you see my finder. You see that download all zip. So what I'm going to do... Windows, whatever, doesn't matter what you're in. You're going to right-click it and scroll down, copy. And then I already have my mods folder as a pre-thing up there. But what I can do, like I said, is go to Go, hold Option. You've got Library. You probably can't see that. But then there's Application Support. Open that. And then if you scroll down, you've got a Minecraft folder. And then I have the mods folder down here, right? So I'm in the mods folder. Here's all the mods. But let me just, you know, pretend they're not there. And I'm going to paste my other um, zip file in here. So it's in here somewhere. Here it is. So I'm going to right click, open with RAR extractor star. And then it will do this unarchiving thing. And it will say, you know, where do you want to go to? And you just make sure that you have the mods folder selected, and you open it, and it will unarchive them all, and you'll see, oh look, there's this download all folder. You open that up, here's all the mods. I will copy and paste all of these. So you highlight them all, and then you go down to copy 35 items. Should be 35 or 34 or something like that. So you go back, so we're back in the mods folder, and then I would right click and paste. Now I already have the mod files there, but after you've pasted, then what you'll do is you'll delete this download all folder and you'll delete that download all um, zip file so that you have nothing but the mods. Don't worry about this memory repo. That file will generate, that folder will generate automatically. But then you have all the mods in the mods folder. All right. So I'm going to go back to my Minecraft launcher here. And then from this point, all we have to do is go back to play, make sure we have the 1.12.2 Forge selected with the 2838. We have all our mods, we click play, we run the game, and then just like normal, um, all you have to do is click multiplayer. So let me go back to this window. Um, you'll, you'll click multiplayer just like normal, um, and you will put in 
if you want to add server, you know, add server, and this is the IP, J, capital J Jerry, capital T Town dot Minecraft, and then R dot US. That's the IP. You join that IP, and you will be on the Jerry Town server, everyone. So I'm sorry this has been super long. I hope it's been really helpful. We have a Discord. So if you want to join our Discord group as a member, which everyone who plays on the Jerrytown server does, um, you just essentially go to that link. This link right here, this Discord link I have, just go to that, and that's all. If for some reason we add a new mod, and you've been playing and you just want to add one, I put all of these mod files individually. So if you know, for example, we just got these two new Christmas mods, Fairy Lights and Joshua's Christmas. You just go over here to this little arrow on the right side, and you click Download, and then you do the same thing, except you don't have to do any extracting. All you do is you copy and paste that jar file into the mods folder. There is no extracting, unzipping, any of this fancy stuff. If, you, if, you, if there's a new mod, that comes out on the server, then all you have to do is just copy and paste it from downloads into the mods folder. And then you're done. And you run the game as normal and join the server like that. So this all seems really complicated. Please, 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 please reach out to me if I can help you. I'm talking to anyone, anyone in the world, any of you, anyone in the world who has found this video. You need help with downloading mods. You need help getting on the Jerrytown server specifically, leave it in the comments, or if you want it to be private, send it to that Jerbear fan mail. That's what it's for. It's for you to contact me, not in the sea of comments, but privately. All right? So email that Jerbear fan mail, and I will get back to you. And I'm happy to help in any way I can. Um, uh, again, you don't need to sit here downloading every single one of these. That's what the download all zip file is for. That's how to download. That All the instructions are right here on this page. If you think my explanation was super long and super tedious, this will tell you how to do it. Um, with the exception of advanced settings, that's not a thing anymore. You just check the boxes, like I said. Um, and that's it. Um, it's honestly really simple. I promise you. You just do all those things. It's just a bit of copying and pasting. And once you've done all the copying and pasting, it's good -o. Um And then you run the game as normal. And um, that's it. So that's the Jerrytown server, everyone. And um, that's how to download. That's how to join the, uh, join the Jerrytown server, how to download all the mods. I hope this video has been helpful. If it has, then please do comment, like, and subscribe to join the Jerbar Den. And um, uh, I guess we'll make this announcement. If you are watching this video, which there will be another announcement video, please know that this upcoming Saturday, December, let me look at my calendar, December 5th, December 5th, 2020, at 1 or 2 Eastern Standard Time, that's New York City, Detroit, uh, Cincinnati, Ohio, that yeah, that time zone, Eastern Standard Time, U.S., Saturday, 1 or 2 p.m. We will be decorating the Jerrytown server with tons of Christmas decorations. And by we, I mean anyone who wants to join us, any of you. If you want to decorate the Jerrytown server and put Christmas trees around and put lights around and, you know, the only exception is snow. If you place down snow, you will be responsible for cleaning it all up. <laughs> um, after uh, after that. But pretty much we're just going to decorate. We're going to make a big old Christmas tree in the middle of the server and it's going to be all fun, festive, and decorative. And I thought, you know, what better way to, cel wh what better w way to celebrate, you know, uh, the holidays together in this, in this quarantine period. We can all decorate. But that's the main thing. So anyways, back to this video. If you have enjoyed this video or if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments at the Google Groups. Um, or in the comment section if I haven't locked them for, you know, privacy reasons because YouTube's new policy. Or send an email to that Jerbear fan mail in the description. I will always answer your email. I'll always get back to you. So please do it. If for some reason you sent me an email a while ago and I missed it, 
please send another one. I promise you I'm not ignoring you. I love you all. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it's been really helpful, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.